So I'm here in the Orion Entry Control booth with Jerry, and Jerry and I are going to talk a little bit about um, the follow-up in my quest to talk more about control room considerations and how pieces of software integrated together or independently can help users yep. in the time of crisis. Right. And also just under normal circumstances. So um, what does Orion have that can cover that sort of a, a requirement? We have the Orion Infinity software. Uh, we've had it around a while and we really made some really big improvements recently uh, with the version 2.0 that we're introducing here at the show. Uh, it's definitely um, very user friendly and interactive. We've brought the um, the view of it more to a 2000s level. It's kind of looked like a 1980s, 1990s, and right. we've really brought the graphics up um, to a, a newer looking level. And uh, we also introduced now where we can take your main screen and customize it so that it looks just like your lobby from wherever the, your guards or your officers are sitting, so that it makes it easier to see the alarms coming in and be able to react, react to them quickly. And if you need to make any sort of adjustments or adjustments, change, yep. not just to an independent device, but to all the devices. So all the, devices. the software can actually control not just simple barriers, but other yeah. barriers. All and of our models, all of our controls. swing glass barriers, our door guard system, anything that's connected via the network, whether it's the 45 communications or the ethernet, uh, it's all viewable right on your main screen. Okay, awesome. Uh, why don't we take a look at the software? Great. Let's do it. Um, and this is a, a custom main screen here we were looking at. Um, our standard main screen will just show you the number of lanes and the layout that you have, but if you have two or three lanes, um, you can see it in different areas. You can label them, um, you know, north, south, east, west, whatever you want to do. Uh, but this one here actually shows, this is a setup for this show, our booth, um, the different uh, swing iron barrier, um, and the door guard as well. Anything that you want to connect on our so software here, uh, you can display in whatever way you want. These to show the tables, how we had them set up before. So this would be what a user sees at their entry point yeah, in their building. This the, is the main screen. Um, this is the first screen you're going to be looking at. So if you want to look at your overall project and all of the different ones, this is where you're going to start. And you can actually see um, the alarms. You can grant access here. If you're just by pushing the button, this is the touch screen. You can grant VIP access from this screen. And live status, right? The colors live change status, based yep. on what's going on. Yeah, with the, the lane device. status indicators tell you uh, what the status of the lane is. If you, uh, you if you get an alarm, you can view an alarm. You enter the lane there. You can see real time lane one enter intrusion alarm, and you can go ahead. That'll tell you real time there, right on the main screen. Okay, and some of the buttons, if you push some of the buttons, you get a much better view of specific devices with more information, right? That's that's correct. So we're gonna look into lane one right here, so you just push the lane one button, and now these are the remote lane control features for lane one, all right? We're only looking at lane one, it's labeled that way. So in this one week here, we could you know, close the lane if for whatever reason you didn't want anybody to come through either side of it for whatever reason. Uh, if you have somebody coming through with a cart and you want to be able to disable the lane, uh, you just push that button and it opens the barriers and allows no alarms for that period of time. Large group of people. Large that group are of people that through. you didn't worry about counting. You right. can do that as well. At any point in time, the enter or exit only button uh, can be utilized to allow enter or exit only. Um, we are in barrier mode currently. Uh, we can also uh, not use the barrier but still have to present your card. So we're going into optical mode which opens up the barriers, you just still have to use your credentials without getting an alarm. Free exit is currently enabled in this one here. Uh, you can tell by the, the blue, the lighter blue. Uh, that's actually jumped out at the board level because we always want, in this condition, we want free exit. If you want it sometimes and don't want it others, you can uh, just activate it uh, from the software as you'd like to. And uh, same with the free enter. Uh, if you want just to be able to count and you don't worry about credentials, you can add, do that as well. Confirm, uh, confirmation enabled button is for the tone that the turnstile gives when it's been given the credit from the access control. Again, you can do VIP entrance by touching it within the square or using the grant enter or grant exit button. Reset resets the number of um, credits available. And along the right side of the screen is the actual number of devices that you may have in your so on this, control area. That's correct. So um, if you have them enabled on the configuration screen, you'll be able to see them here, and then any of the different lanes. If you want to be in this particular page on lane two, then you're just going to put the lane two button. Now we're in lane two, we're looking at the other lane and the right. same features, um, so we can just skip to lane to lane without okay. having, just by the push of a button. 
So the software is very clean and very easy. It uh, doesn't leave much to the imagination. So a user in a normal everyday situation where things change and need to be um, reflexive are, are good. Yep. And also in the time of a crisis when something's going on, large buttons, very simple, Absolutely. quick things to follow so that there's not a lot to try to figure out or, or processes to do. Very simple, disable, close, exit, or open. And I mean, the other thing you can do, the other feature we've just added as well is, it's not enabled here on this screen at this point in time, but we have the ability to turn on a feature where if you wanted to um, open all lanes button, just hit one button and it opens all the lanes to let everybody out for whatever reason you want to do, do that, that's a bit available, as well as close all lanes. So you just want to shut them all off and don't want to allow vi uh, access by the badge or whatever, you can do that as well. You can en enable that and they'll show up on the main screen. So again, this screen is 100% customizable so it can look exactly like how your entry points are laid out in around a facility or around a, an actual entrance point itself and it can be as custom as whatever the user would like it to be. Absolutely. Okay, well thank you very much for your time, Jerry. Thank you. All right.